So David, if you could first of all tell us a bit about your research. So my research focuses on developing new treatments for childhood cancer. We have, over the last few decades, managed to continually improve the cure rates for children with cancer, and that has only come about because of the research that's been done here and around the world. We're slowly, year by year, we've learned more about what makes these cancers aggressive, uh, how we can better treat them, and how we can implement those treatments for children in the clinic who, who need them today. And that research has built um, year by year as we have learned more and more, and now we're at the point where 80% of children with cancer can actually be cured, which is, which is an amazing achievement for, for everyone who's been involved in this. Uh, but we need to do more, and we need to reach that 100% cure rate. And we will only do that by doing more research. Uh, and that's why investment in research for our patients is critical. If uh, there are children um, diagnosed with cancer, about 700 children around Australia every year, and about three of those children will die every week from their disease. And the only way we can make a difference is by doing more research, learning more about these cancers, finding better ways to treat them, and testing those new treatments in the clinic, in the hospitals for children who don't respond to standard therapies. About the more common causes of cancer in children? Yep. So the most common cancer that we see in children is leukaemia and that has one of the highest cure rates. But actually it's kids with relapsed leukaemia that still can be one of the most difficult things to treat. So while at diagnosis kids with leukaemia do very well, once they've relapsed things become much harder and particularly for kids who may have relapsed more than once, that's where we need new research, new trials, new drugs becoming available. And we are actually at a point now where, where new drugs are becoming available, where we're finding new and better ways to treat leukaemia. And we critically need uh, investment in the research to actually work out how we can bring these drugs to the clinic to actually make a difference, not only for the kids who have relapsed, but ultimately even for the kids who are newly diagnosed not only to improve their cure rate, but also to reduce the side effects of their treatment. Uh, kids with leukaemia actually spend lots of time in hospital. They have about two years of treatment with chemotherapy. And much of that time, we're actually treating them in hospital because of the side effects of their chemotherapy. They get fevers, they get infections, they get uh, a compromised immune system. And a lot of our research now focuses on new and better treatments that can kill the leukaemia cells even more effectively, but without causing all those side effects. And there are lots of exciting developments uh, and new therapies that are really uh, coming to the forefront now. And with investment in research, we can continue to make a difference for these kids with leukaemia. The group of cancers that we see in kids is brain tumours. And many of those tumours uh, actually don't do as well as, as other types of cancer in kids. And there are some brain tumours where we actually have no effective treatments. And one of our areas of research is a tumour called DIPG, which when we find that from day one, we know it's incurable. We essentially have nothing we can offer these kids or these parents that will bring about a cure. And we know most of these kids will die within a year of diagnosis. And so this is an area where it's critical that we have more research and we are just now beginning to understand what it is that makes these tumours so aggressive and so difficult to treat. We have a completely new research program focused on finding new treatments for these tumours and with more funding and more research investment we'll actually, we're hopeful we can find new treatments that we can actually bring to the clinic and start making a difference for these kids and bring them hope where till now they've had no hope. Because brain cancer is the most deadly of all cancers in children, is that right? That's right. There's lots of different brain cancers and overall it makes up for one of the leading causes of death. And in fact, as a single disease, it causes more deaths uh, in childhood than any other disease. Um, so it's the only way we're going to make a difference and turn that around is by research, uh, by understanding what makes these tumours aggressive by finding new treatments and by testing them in clinical trials. And we've seen with leukaemia that investment has paid off. We've gone from a 0% cure rate to an over 80% cure rate for kids with leukaemia. And we want to do the same for kids with brain tumours as well. So how many kids die a year from brain cancer? So overall, um, it, 
the, it depends what type of tumour a child has, but about 50% of kids with brain tumours, with malignant brain tumours, will die from their disease. And within that group, there's some brain tumours we will say 100% will die. And that's wrong. Um, we need to do better. We need more research. We need to change those statistics around.